Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It's episode 23. One little change of move I want to make there. I was just looking at the diplomacy. The USA is 76% mobilized. The USSR is... 81% mobilized. They're very close to going to war now. Um... I need to keep an eye on how much There is a potential threat of amphibious invasion from the Western Allies along the northern coast of France. Therefore, it is recommended we strengthen our defences by constructing static coastal gun batteries. Any units currently occupying the hexes where the coastal guns will be deployed will be moved out and the coastal guns will deploy in the next turn. The units may temporarily disappear, but they will be returned. Okay, fine. I think it's the advances. It's the advances in China thing that's uh, that's ticking up the U.S. war war desire. just spent the last of their money repairing these units inside my encirclement. That's, uh... Not wise? Probably not wise. Maybe Italy needs to buy an anti-aircraft gun to stop that harassment. ass kicked by a friggin HQ. That's funny. Wow, they're preparing for war? So what happens if... So at least some generals in Argentina are playing a pro axis coup. Okay, do it. All right, tanks are here. You've got the rocket. I've actually planned to have this over here, but, uh... 
What happens if the USSR goes to war first? Save for. This does not leave me with much MPP. Supply 9, supply 5, supply 6, supply 7, supply 5. Okay, weather is too terrible for flying. I'm only at infantry level 1. have a lot of money so I actually need to upgrade just weapons for now and then I'll upgrade other stuff after because mobility is expensive I don't know what happens if the USSR kicks off first. never seen them kick off first. To, um, we'll have to see what happens if the USSR uh, declares first. Do all their units still appear on the front line damaged? Or not? Does that change anything diplomatically if they declare? Instead of me declaring first? years and just make life difficult.
I don't know the answer. I genuinely don't, so it'll be interesting to see. And it looks like the USA has climbed... 3%, I think? Well, then, more like 13%, wasn't it? It was 76. It's climbed like 12%. It looks like the game just auto-forces them into the war and that my uh, hope to do a um, my hope to just do a summer a, a really early 42, but not winter, is going to be dashed. Dusty! Oh, that shouldn't have happened. Supply here is just not good enough. Whew. That's gross. retaliation on it. Long live the fighters. Get some. Ooh, that was really unlucky.
Okay. Let's heal these, ready to go. Ability is expensive. so I could upgrade him. Buying some garrisons so I can just bring them in. Let's have a spare army here, but... It needs upgrades. None of these units are like super experienced except I guess this one. Once these two are dead I could just heal and fully upgrade these. Japanese fleet is ready. Ah, I think it's time to, uh, start pulling these troops back as well. So what's super funny is, of course, the, uh, now the allies have no supply down here as well because of the um, the embargo of uh, the loss of Gibraltar embargo is the wrong word Okay, alright, I guess that's it for now. We'll have to see what happens when...
when it all kicks off. Man, those tanks won't be ready for like... I'd plan to start my invasion here in March. And they won't be ready until July. It'll be interesting to see what happens if the USSR declares the war. I think the USA will be joining the war very shortly. They might not declare. I mean, they might just be fully mobilized, but not in the war. In which case, you know, they've got their full economy. I don't have, and I really want infantry level 2. It's been really slow going. Let's hope that doesn't cost me too much. Alright, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.